What's going on guys? It's your boy Sailor Turn Gamer and we are back in the building coming at you with another Anthem video. I've been talking about a variety of changes that Bioware can implement into the game and completely revolutionize the current end game. And none of those have made it in the game yet. Oh well, who's to say they're not on the list? Anyway, with that being said, I want to take this time to highlight a Reddit thread I was checking out earlier today. And this guy agrees with a lot of the things that I have to say, especially regarding the state of the game and my thoughts on it. Well, the question of the day is, is this a looter shooter or is this a crafting simulator? Stay here and you'll be officially up to date on the latest in Anthem, ranging from patch notes, news and updates, community Q&A roundups, educational videos, and much more. If you enjoy the video, please be sure to give it a like and a share and join the fleet by hitting that sub button. Now let's get into the talk. To start things off, a portion of the talk today, I'm going to be addressing some of the ideas in that article that I share commonalities with the creator, Caston. To read the full discussion along with tons of comments on this topic, be sure to check the description box for more info. I promise you won't regret it. It's really a fantastic read. I enjoyed reading it. And if you guys enjoy this topic and this talk, be sure to check that out because you might enjoy reading it as well. Oh, like I was talking about in the intro, I've given numerous ideas on ways to revolutionize the game, ranging from free play changes to grandmaster tier overhauls and additions to the crafting system as well. None of the things that I said I expect to get changes tomorrow, but I expect or hope for these things to be addressed so the player base knows that maybe we won't get them tomorrow, but we'll get them in a patch that will happen soon. Maybe not the next patch, but maybe two or three patches down the line. We need to know that they're working on making the game better. And that's not even what we're getting. We're getting a lot of, to be honest right now, bullshit. Like we're getting them, they're, they're, they're putting things out and we just getting the perception that they're not even testing these particular things. But we're here to talk about what is this? Let's just figure out what this is. Is this a looter shooter? Yeah, by definition. First, we got to talk about what even a looter shooter is. Overall, it's really a new, a new term. But in short, I want to summarize it by saying it's a game that's supposed to give you this desire to play consistently for the very reason that the title exists. And what do I mean by that? I mean that a looter shooter should be a game that has tons of loot and have a fantastic shooting mechanic to go with it. Whatever that is, that should be what a looter shooter is in its essence. Well, I got news for you. Anthem has tons of loot, but what I should have said in explaining what a looter shooter is, is that the game needs to have loot that's actually valuable, even when it's trash. Well, for some time now, I've been thinking maybe Anthem isn't that kind of game. Maybe this is something like a crafter shooter. The only problem with that is there's so much loot and no filter or proper crafting system in place to make you feel like anything is worth it. A couple videos ago, I offered a solution, but I think we need to bring that up again. Anthem lacks any sort of meaningful progression system at a fundamental level. The crafting system desperately needs to be expanded. Where's the ember economy? Why can't we use embers or one quality and upgrade them to an ember of a different quality. Rare embers should be able to be sacrificed to create epic embers, and those should be able to be sacrificed to make masterwork embers, which you should be able to use to craft masterworks, obviously. Now, while crafting a particular masterwork, there should be, let's say, like 5%. There should be a 5% chance while crafting masterworks to get a legendary version of the masterwork you're crafting. This would allow every ember to serve a purpose in giving more meaning to the crafting system. See, now this is just one idea of many. All of you guys out there, if you guys have an idea on ways to improve the game, specifically from a crafting standpoint, be sure to put that in the comment section below. I'm interested in continuing the dialogue on ways to improve the game because it needs to be better. But here's the part where I bring up that article. It goes on to say, I don't know if I agree with that, but considering this, 
what they're aiming for. Here's my constructive criticism on making Anthem a crafter shooter, which is where I realized that me and Castum actually agree on a lot of the same things. So check this stuff out, and I want to know what you guys think. So let's just point some things out here. A lot of the systems in place don't lend well for Anthem to be a true looter shooter. Facts. Loot isn't exciting, and the vast majority of drops become useless after a certain point. Facts. QN. Epics. Useless. Right now. Drop rates are abysmal, especially for legendaries, so the chance of an actual improvement on your build is slim to none. It's been sort of better, but it's still so random that it can be considered abysmal. Inscriptions are completely random. Facts. Leading to even more useless drops. Facts. Even legendary ones. Facts. I've seen people post all over the place, including myself, that I've gotten duplicates for legendaries. It's is insane that you can have legendary drop rates be so low and get duplicates with all the stuff in this game. It's ridiculous. And the last thing I want to point out is that this kind of extreme RNG for both good gear and good inscriptions can completely stall out progression, leading to frustrated and players that actually leave the game. Now, I think it's safe to say that that's a fact. Um, I know Twitch is not a proper metric of the entire player base, but with the information that we have from Twitch, plus the combination of just various Reddit threads that you can just scroll down and read for days, there's so much frustration within the community. And it's not because we don't like the game. It's a fun game. The core shooting mechanics, the flight, it's fun. But this progression system, the crafting system, the loot, it just needs to change. And if they just examine the game and be honest and say, hey, we fucked up and we want to make it better. And to make it better, we're going to work on this and then we're going to work on that and then we're going to work on this. And the plan is to have this, that and this done in X amount of time. Then I think that we can all like move forward with that and just take the next step. Uh, I want to say I agree with with everything uh, with the state of the game so far, at least as far as how Kasim sees it. I kind of I see it the same way. So if we want to solve the issue with Anthem, I think that one of the best ways to do that is to focus on crafting, because it seems as though with the variety of loot that's in the game, if they decide to go down the route of focusing more on crafting, then that could be one way that Anthem could carve its own niche rather than trying to catch up to a mode that they're already really behind on. That could be something that could actually work. Now, doing that would allow us to slowly build towards better and better gear until we can make them perfect through the crafting system, which will give players a reason to continue to play the game and also give you a meaning of, of progression because... Right now, I talked about in another video how we really don't have a progression path. It's like, it really doesn't exist. And more importantly, all the useless stuff that you get that you just cr like crap away, you'll actually be crapping that stuff away for something more useful. So that could actually be something that could really, really change the mode of the game. I mean, not only did I suggest the idea of having their percentage chance of getting legendaries from using your masterwork embers, but being able to not have a fear of saying, oh, I don't want to grab that purple because, well, what's the point? I don't need it for my current build. But if you could break that purple down and then sacrifice certain purples to get masterwork cores and so on, masterwork embers and so on and so forth, it could actually be something that could be beneficial. This sounds exactly like some of the changes that I want to see in the crafting system. Now, Kasim, he offers his own ideas and... They put a smile on my face. I want to know what you guys think about these ideas in the comment section below. And we're going to talk about some of these key changes that could possibly happen in the game. If Bioware wants to take some advice from people in the community or suggestions from people in the community. All right. So first things first, we need to make it easier to get masterwork blueprints. Now, this was a video that I was wanted to talk about as well and I it's on the list. The champion of Tarsus quest is just it's 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 dumb. They need to change the values on that. It's ridiculous. Fifty thousand 
rep points for each one. It, it's ridiculous. There's n- like, unless you play this game every second of every single day, you are not even going to come close to getting that. The casual player, which at this point I like to say is probably most of the player base that plays this game, the casual player is not going to get that. And they lock behind it a certain amount of, of, of masterwork blueprints. And that's, that that is just silly. These blueprints need to be divvied up into a variety of other tasks that the player can focus on and say, hey, if you're a ranger, then you need to do this specific, like do these dungeons or with this whatever and try to unlock these blueprints. Because that's just 50,000 like rank points for each one for a total of 150,000. That's ridiculous. But they need to make it easier to get Masterwork blueprints. So that's in the Stronghold and Grandmaster 1 gives a masterwork blueprint of your equipped weapon completing a legendary contract on grandmaster one with a component will give you a masterwork blueprint of your equipped component and completing a legendary mission on grandmaster one will give you a masterwork blueprint for your equipped gear the point is whatever strategy that they come up with it needs to be something new to revolutionize the game to make it easier to get masterwork blueprints because right now it's it's insane it, it just doesn't make any sense if they want to do something else to make the game a little crazy, they could even give you legendary blueprints. Now, I think a better thing would just to be a put to put a percentage value on crafting and having that chance at a legendary. I think that would make things exciting and they wouldn't have to worry about adding an additional resource when it comes to embers. But I think giving you that percentage on being able to craft a legendary would be super super awesome and i think it would be exciting to the crafting game as well to be able to craft your masterwork and maybe you crafted 20 masterworks and on the 21st you got a legendary even if it wasn't a good role you would be super excited about it because of course you can get them to the normal grind of the game but just to be able to get one through crafting is one way to kind of create a targeted uh, way of doing that i think that would be super super awesome as well um, one way that they could change things up is to give legendary embers. It's not something that I necessarily think would work or it could work, but it's not something that I necessarily would fly with. I like the chance aspect rather than adding a completely different crafting uh, resource. But let me know what you guys think about that. Uh, two types of dismantling is something that they could do. For example, uh, you can dismantle something for its ember or you can do that for one of its inscriptions, like a weapon inscription, a component inscription, or a gear inscription, depending on what it is. Embers are used to craft gear, while inscriptions can be applied to a weapon or a component or a gear that you own as you get it. And by doing that, they could also add more inscriptions. Now, they have added more components as of 1.0.4, which is awesome to see, but a part of that kind of made me sad, and it could be a talk on its own. Because even though they buffed all the javelins, the rangers, they're doubling down on some things on the rangers that I don't like. And some of the new components that they added could easily be inscriptions for uh, other javelins. Or, but overall, they could add more inscriptions and that could change up the way the entire system works in itself. Uh, they can add dismantling inscriptions to weapons component or gear as a slot. So if that slot has the same bonus, the values are added together as an example. So if you had plus 25% damage and you had plus 13% damage, it can make a, you know, obviously a plus 38% damage. If it has different bonus type da- uh, bonus types, you could choose to overwrite that bonus with one of the ones you're applying, changing it to a new inscription. They can add new inscriptions and make the crafting system more complex than what it is now. Right now it's pretty bare bones and it's pretty apparent that with the amount of loot and the amount of inscriptions and the fact that this loot isn't targeted, if they focused on making this more heavily around crafting, this could really be a system where, yes, you can get the stuff that you want out in the wild by getting gear to drop and you have that chance. And even if the chance isn't 100% great, even the bad stuff, even the trash stuff will be, will have a purpose and you could craft to be able to have a chance at getting the things that you want. That is something that really could be awesome. Imagine having legendary crafting if that's something that they wanted to take it down. That could be something that would be really, really awesome. Or imagine having the fact or like the ability to have inscription crafting or something that I like to call it like I've been playing a division and I talked about this before in another video. 
they have a recalibration station, which those of you that don't play the division or never have, basically, if you get a roll on your gear that you don't necessarily like, like let's say you get plus 5% to your fire grenades, and you're like, oh man, I don't even use fire grenades, but everything else on this road like a boss. Well, you could reroll that fire grenade section for, I don't know, plus 38% health or something like that, for example, and recalibrate it. Roll it to something you like. It's great. You recalibrate it and you pay a certain amount of resources to do that and then after you do that if you want to do it again you can and you're gonna have to pay more resources now this could be something that could be really really cool because imagine you re-rolling an epic level gear well you could use coins but more specifically you could use your resources so if you're rolling an ember and an epic level gear piece maybe you pay for that re-roll with epic embers and and you see how this whole system could really add to the crafting system because then when you're breaking down masterworks that you don't need anymore and you got a thousand masterwork embers you're like what i'm gonna do with this well if you want to recalibrate you got to use embers to recalibrate and every time you recalibrate it's going to cost you more and more embers but you got them because you're collecting all the loot in the game and breaking it down and increasing the overall value of the loot by adding to the cracking system it could be something that could be really really dope i'm telling you like the game it seems like it's already leading that way bioware seems like they don't really want to make changes they will dwindle down the loot system and they don't have to because this is one way that they could actually do that so with all of this, rather than playing the game home, hoping for a good drop, they could do something exactly like this. You could play the game to get gear for embers and inscriptions, which would allow you to craft or improve your gear by using embers as currency, which would make the world go around just like a complete circle of life. The more you play, the more crafting material you have to work with, and the better gear you can craft. And if you get some gear you don't like, you can recalibrate it with crafting material, which could be super, super awesome. It could be a nice little system. All of this could lead to a much smoother progression system than that what we have right now because I've talked about it a lot. It, it does not exist. Once you get to Grandmaster 3 and you have this perfect build, which could take you a while, I admit that, but once you finally get there, even if you did all four characters, once you finally got there, what's next? I don't know. But doing this would allow not only progression, but it would lead to more powerful builds that would allow more of its player base to actually be in GM3. Because there are a lot of people that play this game that are not able to go to GM3 and completely successfully do things and feel powerful in a way that we should be able to feel. It's not a lot, but doing this could be a step towards that direction. The ability to create powerful builds to allow people to experiment, to offer a consistent way to gear up with different javelins. I just think this is an awesome opportunity that they should actually think about and actually take. Bottom line is, if Anthem wants to fix his loot system and actually do something that's different and force his player base to actually dive deep into this crafting system, it's something that could turn this whole mess around and offer something that's different Maybe better? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Please tell me in the comment section below. I think this is an idea that is worth exploring. And it may be something to revolutionize the game. Maybe something to revolutionize the game and industry. I don't know. Anyone has made it this far in the video, I just want to say thank you. And continue to stay here for all things Anthem. I'm going to continue to do my best to cover everything about Anthem. Because, like I said before, and... Like I'm always going to say, Anthem is fun. There is a lot of fun to be had in this game. It's just a lot of mess to get through it as well at times. I think this game has so much potential, and I think it has a very high ceiling. And I'm going to continue to come with ideas that I think could help change the game. Until then, this sale is going to be out in the open ocean. Hey guys, give this video a like and a share. Join the fleet. Peace.